We have uh, talked a lot about parents and students and teachers being ready for back to school. If you don't have school children, you might think that it doesn't matter to you. Well, think again. Yeah, Chris Sadegi shows us how everyone is getting in on the education process, whether they have kids or not. Hey, Miss Gray. It takes a principal like Chris Barksdale. Okay, excited for the new year. It takes teachers like Miss Gray. So I need students, so come on, boys, we're ready for you. And of course, it takes students, but a proper education in America still takes more. Well, it truly does take a village. At the Young Men's Leadership Academy in East Dallas, it's everyone's job. Here, each school year starts with 100 men welcoming students back. They aren't teachers, they're not parents, just people that care. They never saw this many people outside smiling and welcoming their young men as they started school. It means the world to have these folks coming out supporting what we're doing. School is a place for our voice and our input. And Xavier Henderson that, isn't a teacher. He doesn't have children. But he's organizing this year's 100 Men Welcome event. So when I think about what motivates me, I think about like our shared responsibility. Last year, Dade Middle School held a Breakfast with Dads event and asked for 50 volunteers to show up to provide mentorship for kids who might not have that father figure. We love this story and those messages they sent us today. The event went viral when 600 showed up. It was pretty special, a one-in-a-lifetime experience. Xavier was one of those 600. I think what sticks out is that, that joy, and uh, I think that joy is a wonderful thing. A village supporting the young, and one day, They'll support the village. There are future leaders, principals, lawyers, elected officials, etc. And as a new year starts, 100 men will have a chance to shape them. Get involved in the school. Even if you don't necessarily come out here, go to a school in your neighborhood. Or perhaps your village. Chris Sadegi, Channel 8 News. Very important.